Next, I'm gonna show you some common mistakes made when placing a Foley catheter and ways to avoid contamination. First, I wanna just point out our sterile field. We have two um, drapes down and the biggest thing is you wanna just make sure that you maintain sterility of these drapes. You have a one inch border which you can use to touch and adjust your drape if you need to. Um, but you wanna avoid moving it as much as possible. The next thing I wanna show you is you wanna be aware that as you're leaning over, you're not letting your badge or stethoscope or your hair into your sterile field. That would be a point of contamination. And also, you know, sometimes you can uh, be unaware of what one hand is doing or that it's touching the patient. So you always just wanna keep your hands right in front of you and above waist level at all times. When you start your Foley catheter, um, you take off this blue packaging. And a common thing that people like to do is they like to just throw it down on their sterile field, which is fine. If I put it in here, that is just perfect because this is still sterile. But if I throw it off my field slightly, where it's on and off the field, now it's contaminated my whole entire package. And I would have to start over. So you wanna make sure that it either is completely off the field or it stays on your field completely, not touching that one inch border. Next thing I wanna show you is your catheter. People like to place the catheter in the lube, which can sometimes flop off of your sterile field. So one of the things, um, the best practice is just to leave this catheter placed in the box so it doesn't flop over. When you're ready to place a catheter, you can dip it into the lubricant before you place it in the patient. When you place your iodine into your container, another common thing that people like to do is they wanna put it in the trash. There's two ways of doing this. You can leave it on your sterile field because it is still sterile, or you can place it in a trash, but you need to make sure you're not crossing over your body or your arm, and you need to make sure that it's still high enough above your waist, and you, that you're not placing your hand into the trash and contaminating your gloves. So you would need to drop your trash high so that you are not even close to contaminating yourself. All right, so as um, best practice too is when you're grabbing the Foley, you, you wanna be close to the end of the catheter because what can happen is if you're, if you're trying to place a catheter in a patient and you don't have control, it can flop around and inadvertently touch the sides of the patient's um, leg or peri area or hair and that would contaminate the Foley completely. You would have to start over with a new kit. When you place a Foley, you have one sterile hand and one non-sterile hand. This is very important to be cognizant of because as you put your hand on this patient to hold their genitalia, you want to make sure that this hand never leaves the patient again. This can is contaminated. So as you grab your Foley and you lubricate it, another thing that um, you want to make sure as you lubricate it really well and that you hold and you don't also contaminate by touching your hand or anything else. If you place the Foley in and you meet resistance for some reason or it's not going in right and you cannot pull back and try to reinsert, that would be a point of contamination. It needs to be a clean insert. So one shot is all you get to try to get that catheter in smoothly. If you do not get it in smoothly, if you contaminate your Foley, you will need to get a new catheter and start over.